You put this out there every single day, anyone has access to it, and they can learn a bucket load of information about you. What is it? Hey peeps, Trace here for DNews. Any idea what I'm talking about? I'll give you a hint. It has nothing to do with social media, but you do it every day. Still no guesses? It's pee. Urine, whiz, micturate, yeah, it's pee. And it is dead useful. You're probably wondering what I can find out from your urine. Science has tools to find out what drugs you're taking, what you've eaten, the health of your excretory system, whether you're pregnant, and a crap ton of other things that you've likely already heard about. We wouldn't be denews if we only told you the stuff that you already knew. So how about this? I could take your urine and make brain cells. Urine contains water-soluble waste that your body doesn't need. It's filtered through the kidneys and stored in the bladder until you get rid of it. Reprogramming skin cells that make their way into this waste, Chinese scientists created brain cells. You're literally pissing away your brain cells. Using these cells, scientists believe we can turn little bits from our own pee into our own stem cells and use them to cure diseases like Parkinson's or Alzheimer's. Yeah, <laughs> from pee. Not good enough? Okay, how about cancer? Scientists in the UK created an electronic nose that can tell if you have bladder cancer with a single sniff of your urine. Usually a cystoscopy has to be performed to check the bladder from the inside, so it has to go you know what, just look it up, it's awful. This is, this is way better. The Odo Reader has a 100% accuracy at identifying bladder cancer in a 30 minute window. That's pretty great. And if you're not worried about cancer, how about something more practical? Students in Nigeria used urine to create hydrogen power. And some scientists in the UK turned similar technology into a pea-powered cell phone charger. Both work by feeding pizzle to microbes, which turn the compound in the excrement into small amounts of energy. And it's not just phones and lights. NASA was looking at this technology too. Hydrazine is a propellant that can be used in rocket fuel. And using microorganisms, some Dutch scientists were able to create hydrazine from the ammonia in urine. Ammonia is what gives your pizzle that acrid smell. Unfortunately, the hydrazine was created in such small quantities that NASA lost interest. If you're more into the practical fun of urine, you know, writing your name in the snow or whatever, then you should check out Captive Media, a London-based company that uses your stream to power video games. You can create art, which is shareable via email, thank goodness, navigate ski slopes, and even play trivia games. Aside from games, some Singaporean urinal cakes can identify how drunk you are by testing biomarkers in your tinkle. Paired with RFID tags, these unusual urinals can alert valet workers that certain drivers might be too drunk to drive home. Are you going to look at your pee a little differently now? Is this gross science or just great stuff? Share your thoughts with us and hey, don't forget to flush.